One of the tools to access complexity is the field of scientific computing. What is scientific computing? Well, it's not just the brute force use of huge computers to give you answers to questions that the human mind is too weak to fathom. The idea is to use the computer to enter a new world, to give you experience about things that you could not see before. Something that seems to you to be extremely complex might not really be so when looked at from a certain perspective. Use computers to gain that perspective. Looking at something in deep detail, you uncover that from some perspective it is simpler than you thought. And then, at some point, maybe you don't even need computers to assess what the system is doing, what, what it's telling you. The technological prerequisite for dealing with complexity at a high level, at a quality level, seem quite daunting because you know for Serbia it's very difficult to make a supercomputing installation. The funding that we got from the Center of Excellence grant was actually fantastic. It was not enough, not by a long shot, not by an order of magnitude to build the installation, but it was the seed money we needed. So with this seed money we got matching funds from our national sources, and that started the ball rolling. But recently, we've tapped into a much better source, also at the national level, uh, the so-called National Investment Plan. The National Investment Plan funds infrastructural development of Serbia. So, we were able to persuade the country that uh, development of a strong grid infrastructure for Serbia at a high, high level, uh, comparable to the best uh, institutions in, in Europe, was something that is sought after for Serbia and for its future high technology sector. So currently, if you look at the top 10 grid sites in the European production grid infrastructure, you'll find that the Aegis grid site uh, of the Scientific Computing Laboratory is, by all sets of parameters, in the top 10, which is, which is something to be proud of. Thank you.